Hey guys, what's up? GFX Trinity here. We are a partner for New Arts Creation. That's really nice. And uh, today we're going to show you how to get these audio spectrum or the waves on um, to your song so you can upload it to YouTube. Now, uh, this tutorial is going to be done in After Effects. Um, it can be done in Sony Vegas. So we will have one of the guys from the team that uses a Windows computer to show you a tutorial how to do that in Sony Vegas. So let's get right to this. Um, we're in After Effects here. All I did was made a really simple, um, clean uh, setup here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're kind of gonna have it like the YouTube uh, layout. We're gonna have the spectrums coming up from here and here, just going up. But we don't want it to come down, which is somewhat uh, difficult sometimes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make a new adjustment layer and put it under the flare so the flare affects it and we're just going to name this uh, sound waves so the first thing you want to do is make sure it's selected go up into effects go to whoops go to generate audio spectrum and this is going to happen you're going to see we get just a bunch of these dots and everything else disappears so if you go to the very bottom of these controls, composite on Ridge, it should say original. So you just click that and everything reappears. So what we're going to do is we're going to line these two ends up all the way on the ends over here, just kind of on the bars. Just a little four of the bars to be set on here. And uh, I think that's pretty good right now. But if you, if you see, if we play through it, nothing happens that's because our audio layer is set as the default of what um, layer you're on so what we want to do is we want to click on this and go to our song and then we see something happens here so now we have this going along with the song but I don't have it playing in the background right now so um, if you saw in the videos they only come up from the top and not the bottom that's because the side options, you want to go to side A. So they only come up from the one side. But if you want to do the opposite, side B. Or it's just side B. But for now we're with side A. And if you saw, it wasn't like this. There was more like a wave. And that is called duration averaging. So if you click on that, you're going to get that um, uh, look. But it doesn't go up as high. So maximum height, you can just bring that up quite a bit. And now when you play through it, it's going to turn out to look like that. I think I'm just going to keep it around 2,000. So when you play through, it's really nice and smooth like that. But also, if you don't want that, you can just click it off and it'll be like this. Also, in the um, template on the videos, the colors are different. So you can always just change the colors there. Um, do whatever you want for those. Um, make those how you want them. I just pick that for now. And there's more, more lines. Those are called frequency bands. So you can just bring those up. I'll bring those up to like 150, and it looks a lot nicer now. And now if we do the averaging, it's looking very nice, very cool. And um, if you want it to like affect more of this. You can just grab the thickness and it kind of gives it a little bit of a glow, which is very nice. Or you can do the softness, which also brings up some of the glow. But I just keep mine on 3 and 50. That's what I like to use. And um, one more thing is, you probably have seen in some videos where it starts off with one color and it goes cycles through all these different colors along the line. That's because they have this hue interpolation. Um, you can change this second, 0, 0.0, all the way up to 360, or you can just change this first to 1, and that does the same thing. Now, if you can see, it um, changes that. We will just take off these for now. Oops, we have to have that on. Now, if you can see, it, it's it got uh, different colors throughout the whole thing. I think we changed that to black. You can see it better. Yeah, if you can see, it shows all of those colors. Um, which is really nice and it shows every single one of them especially if you put one color at black the other color all the way up to the right on any of these colors it'll uh, change them 
So you can just kind of scroll through. You can even keyframe it. You uh, say we keyframe the outside color as this one. Then we go over here, Oops. go over here, and then change it to this one over here. So now if we play through, you're going to get it, and it's actually going to change. You won't notice it as much since it's moving, but it does change. And that's um that's one thing that's very nice about using After Effects with the audio spectrum. Thanks for watching. This has been GFX Eternity, partnered with New Arts Creations, and we'll see you guys in the next tutorial.